Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Yo, what's going on guys? DJ Hess here, CollectiveKicks.com. Wanted to bring you guys a video and show you guys a custom that I ended up creating in an original concept that I was kind of reinventing uh, of the uh, bread Jordan 1s, but I kind of took that and had a weird funky twist to it and decided to do what I call the chocolate bread um, dunks. And so you can see the theme coloring is the, the, the bread ones. And instead of doing it in black and red, I did it in, the, in kind of chocolate tones. Um, I personally don't think there's enough like brown Jordans out there. I really like them. I have the center 14s and, and a couple of the other ones, the um, Croc 11 Lows. And I just think the, the brown like shoes are like great for like the fall time or whatever. But also I wanted to try Angelus' new colors, um, the, the brown that you could see here as well as the Vachetta Tan. And I really like the way that these came out. If you guys like the way they look, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. But I kind of like the idea of, of just doing an original theme and just kind of making it my own. Now, if you guys remember, I did a, um, a clearance video a long time ago from Nike Pickup from Nike.com. I'm always tweeting out the deals on Nike.com when they have that extra 20% off coupons and stuff. And I ended up buying these a while ago. This is just an all-white dunk. Um, it's a comfort dunk uh, quick strike, it says. And gum soles in the bottom, little wood. Um, parts right here and here and all white ostrich kind of prints here and on the toe box leather lined even and I think I got these for like 50 bucks or something like that so I knew this would be a great uh, shoe for a base it just took me a long time to actually decide on what to customize um, and again Angelus got these new colors so I was like all about trying these new like earth tones out and that's kind of the the invention of the bread dunk that I ended up or the the chocolate bread dunk that I ended up creating um, if you guys are interested in purchasing any of the Angelus supplies, check the link in the description at the top of the description. They have tons and tons of customizer um, supplies out there. It's probably the best um, company out there for paint supplies. It has everything from the beginning to end to be able to have a finished product like I'm showing you guys. And so I'll show you guys the products that I needed to create this, but um, feel free to shop around in the description to this uh, Angelus site. They also have like um, beginner packages and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. They, the pricing is actually really, really decent as well. Like this is like, I think $5 or so for easy cleaner, um, which is kind of ne necessary to clean your shoe if you're gonna customize a shoe that's dirty before you start to, to customize it. But anyway, um, shout out to Angelus though, cause they have really, really um, dope products and I'm really happy to be able to, to use these products and create something fun for myself and just kind of an original concept. So three different phases. Let's go ahead and get into it uh, for the custom. So um, there is the first phase of basically prepping the shoe, the second phase of painting the shoe, and the third phase of finishing the shoe. Uh, that's kind of how I, I lay these products out here. So the first phase, you have your easy cleaner, and this is if you're, you're customizing a shoe that's not brand new, that's a little bit dirty. Absolutely um, really good idea to be cleaning those things off before you do any customizations. Then the first phase, and I'll show you guys me doing all these steps, is the leather preparer and deglazer. This is basically um, kind of like an acetone sort of thing, but I just like using this one particularly. And you will take the cotton ball and you'll see that I'll rub it down on the um, dunk back here because I wanna make sure that I remove that finish on the original shoe before I decide to paint over top of the finish. It just will make it adhere better uh, as you, you're painting. Next, I end, ended up using three colors, one dark brown, two cream, and three uh, Vachetta tan, as you can see right here. So these are the three colors I chose. I just got small little containers. These are one ounces, and this is more than enough paint to, to paint multiple shoes. So some people were wondering about the size of the containers. Just one ounces uh, here, is this more than enough to paint probably like seven shoes, 10 shoes or something like that, and sets of shoes, I mean. Uh, so there's definitely a lot in here. And then the last phase, after you get done painting everything um, and everything looks good, you wanna go ahead and use these two items together. Very, very, very important because if you just use this matte um, acrylic finisher, it's still gonna be very, very glossy. So it's really critical that you use this duller. Otherwise, this matte finish, even though it says matte, it's kind of, um, it's kind of, like confusing because it really doesn't leave a matte finish. It leaves a very, very shiny finish. 
This brown almost looked like patent leather. It looks like kind of kind of shiny now, but it was super shiny before, and you can see right here. Um, but it was it was crazy crazy shiny before, so definitely needed. And I could have done more. I just didn't use a ton and ton of dollar on that. But I bought these little containers. They're like a dollar each or something like that. And so I got one for the uh, nail polish remover for the brushes, and then one also for the mat and the dollar. You mix the mat with a couple drops. Um, maybe five drops or so of the dollar uh, inside of the little container and shake it up and then you brush that on over top. And then the last thing that um, you, you may or may not want to use is the, uh, the uh, heat, heat uh, gun here. And this is great if you actually just want to speed up the process. So if I want to paint on my layer one, heat, use the heat gun and then it will dry really, really quick then I can paint on my layer two. And then the same thing with this one right here. I can I can use um, the heat gun on this last layer here uh, if I choose to as well. Also, um, Angelus does have the paint brushes on their side as well, and there's tons of different varieties. You do need a couple of varieties of different sizes if you want. The bigger um, size, the easier it is to cover more ground, obviously. But for something like the tongue right here, where it says Nike on the tongue in the different color, um, I did that. Uh, primarily with a, a small brush so you have to buy the small set in order to get like the really small fine um, one but that's pretty much it i'm going to show you guys the time lapse now of me putting all this together in the different phases and hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, the video and i'll show you guys what they look like again on feet at the end peace So after all said and done, this is the final product, and you can see I finished both shoes. I uh, don't really love the finish on this. It's really, really tough to, to predict. Um, you definitely need to do kind of some sampling uh, sections of uh, both of the dollar and the matte finish because this one's still way too uh, shiny in comparison to what I would want. So I definitely want to dull this thing down. Uh, a little bit and uh, kind of crazy how that finish does it but you kind of do need the finish if you don't put the finish on 
um, it will really chip off uh, pretty easily, the paint will. So uh, that is definitely why you put the finish on. But all in all, I like the end results. Uh, leave a comment, let me know what you guys think, and I'll show you guys what these look like again on feet. And there's a Nike symbol right there. Catch you guys later.